Assalamu alaikum friends today I'm going here to discuss the subclavian artery its branches and mnemonic for memorizing the branches of the subclavian artery First I'm going to talk about the subclavian subclavian artery then after I shall discuss the mnemonic for memorizing the branches of the subclavian artery So there are two subclavian artery one is the left subclavian artery the another is the right subclavian artery so the left subclavian artery is directly arises from the arch of the aorta and the right subclavian subclavian artery arises from the brachiocephalic trunk or brachiocephalic artery so on the left subclavian artery supply the left arm the right subclavian artery supply the right arm and the vertebral artery uh, both the left subclavian artery and right subclavian artery uh, also supply the brain and the internal thoracic artery or the internal mammary artery of the right and left subclavian artery supply the thorax and these thyro cervical trunk the gastro cervical trunk and the dorsal scapula artery supply the arm so there are five branches arise from the subclavian artery the first is the vertebral artery the second the internal mammary artery or it is also called the internal thoracic artery the third is the thyro cervical trunk the fourth uh, is the gastro cervical trunk and the fifth is dorsal scapular artery and then the subclavian artery continue just uh, below the lateral border of the first strip is the axillary artery so if you want to memorize the branches of the subclavian artery we have a track the track is uh, vitamin c and d so we for vertebral artery i for the internal mammary artery or the internal thoracic artery T for the thyro cervical trunk, C for the gastro cervical trunk, and D for the dorsal scapular artery. So thanks for watching the video.